opportunities for young people. We hear the word apprenticeship and we don't really know what it means. I mean, some of us have seen the programme, mm -hmm. The Apprentice, which is apparently nothing like real life in the business world. Well, what Probably what, just as scary though. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. But what are the opportunities for young people to get into the creative sector? Well, uh, Creative Break has been established uh, to try and help people do that. So uh, here to tell us more about it is John Myers, who's the Employer Services Director uh, for the National Im uh, Apprenticeship Service here in the Northwest, and Vicky Parry, who through Creative Break is now a junior account executive at Tangerine PR. Uh, Vicky, let's start with you, shall we? Um, tell us your story and, and what led you into Creative Break, if you will. Okay, um, well, I started in October last year um, when I decided I didn't want to go to university. Um, I did go to school and get my GCSEs, go to college, get my A-levels, um, so a natural progression could have been university. Um, well, many people would think it would be to go to university, but it's not always the case. And you um, fancied a different direction, so what happened yeah, then? Um, I looked into apprenticeships, a couple of my friends had done them, um, and I came across um, Tangerine PR who were looking uh, for a business administration apprenticeship. And that was last year? Yes, last year. So October. tell us what's happened between then and now. How did things start and where are you now? Uh, okay, I, obviously I started uh, doing the administration for the team and supporting the teams in the office. Um, but within six months I was offered a promotion to junior account executive. And so you are how old, remind us? 18. I mean, that's an incredible achievement. John, let's bring you in uh, at this stage. Um, apprenticeships, we have a, a pretty fixed view in our mind, a lot of people, of what an apprenticeship is. Often people think of you know, young people working in, in woodwork or metalwork and, and training into a vocation like a carpenter or an engineer. That's so not the case, is it? Absolutely. You can do an apprenticeship in over 190 areas. Part of the reason we were very keen to get into the creative sector was because it's such a, a live, vital, important part of uh, the economy, a growing part of the economy, and you can become an apprentice in the creative sector. As Vicky has proven, you can do that, and you can do that very well. Vicky's been very successful very quickly. As I say, there's 190 different occupational areas that you can become an apprentice. It's not just engineering and construction, which is perhaps how people perceive it to be. Now, Vicky, just going back to you just quickly, because as a university leaver myself, that's what a lot of people feel like they have to do. Like you touched on there, a lot of people just feel that that is the next step. But if you felt that the skills you've learnt are actually a lot more applicable for the workplace and have stood you in good stead, much better than possibly university would have done. Yeah, I think I've learnt a lot more from actually going into the workplace than I would have done if I'd gone to university. And also, you... I think it matures you much quicker mm. um, and also prepares you slightly better for later on in life because employers aren't necessarily looking for what qualifications you've yeah. achieved, it's the experience you've got as well as those qualifications. It's what you can offer the company, isn't yes. it, really, as opposed to simply just being able to wave some paper at them and say, yeah. I've got this and this. It's actually being able to say, I've done this, this is evidence of mm. it. But it must have been quite scary to go at such a young age into the workplace. Was it quite welcoming and was it an easy adjustment to make? Yeah, it was obviously a bit of a shock going from sort of a part-time college, because obviously you're not in lessons mm. throughout the day, to work in nine till half five. But once you settled in, it was uh, I was fine. I was felt part of the team straight away, and I was really welcomed at Tangerine. So Fantastic. John, let me ask you about this from an employer's point of view. Uh, what are the benefits uh, for an employer to even start investigating apprenticeships? You know, we all know there are a lot of young people, including university graduates, who are fighting and jostling for these positions. So from an employer's point of view, what are the, what are the tangible benefits to apprenticeships? The enormous benefits for an employer. You're getting a motivated workforce, a workforce that wants to stay with you. You're getting uh, a workforce, that in, if it's a young people that you're looking to recruit, who are offering something different, something innovative. Um, many of the UK's uh, household names employ apprentices. People in the Northwest like Sellafield, British Aerospace, um, big and small companies. Part of the reason we wanted to, to work on the Creative Break initiative was about actually letting small companies have access to apprenticeships as well. Um, so it's for all companies, um, employees of, of every age, uh, an apprenticeship is a, is a job with training. Um, all apprentices are, receive a wage from their employer 
uh, and it's, it's the, the premier way of developing your, your workforce. Now you say there it's, a, it's open to everybody, so it's irrelevant, is it, of your education? You can actually, everybody's entitled to a chance. Uh, everybody, actually without a degree, yes. uh, is, is able to become an apprentice. So do you uh, need to have your GCC and your A-levels to, to take part? It, it's very much d down to the employer in terms right. of what they need in that job. So, it, it, so an employer may put an advert out and they may specify that a certain number of GCSEs or certain A-levels are required. Or an employer may say, actually, no, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for somebody with the right attitude, the right yeah, approach. Exactly. A, a bit of a spark. Because there might be a lot of people out there who, ha you know, who are so enthralled and so geared up to do it and have so much to offer, but Absolutely. they might not have the right qualifications at the moment or qualifications they believe to be right. Yeah. But you're saying, you don't need to worry. Actually, in fact, y this might be the best thing you've ever done and we might be able to offer you work that possibly before you'd never have expected to be able to, to get a foot in the door with. And, and there are, uh, currently at the moment, just in Manchester, we've got nearly 100 vacancies for apprentices with employers of every type uh, That's brilliant. Um, available um, through our website apprenticeships.org.uk Brilliant. Um, so candidates can apply for those vacancies online. That's brilliant because we do sort of feel at the moment that there's sort of a bit of a static come to the job industry and to bring in new people in and a lot of people are feeling disheartened but you're finding that in fact um, you know that it's not holding people back at all no, and at all. there's still places they're available. Uh, apprenticeship numbers are, are growing um, in, in the northwest our figures have increased by 20 percent in the last year so employers are really actually getting the the message that apprenticeships are the way forward. Brilliant okay. It's fantastic it really is and, and Vicky you know uh, d you've had such a great opportunity for, for this and you can see a clear career path ahead of you um, and of course you're not now saddling yourself with maybe three or four years worth of you know university yeah. debt as, yeah. as a lot of people you've gone straight in, into the workplace has that been I, I mean I guess it's a ridiculous question in a way but I guess that's going to be a great weight off your shoulders in 10 years time it won't be there. Yeah that is it's uh, it's amazing some of my or most of my friends actually have gone to university and they're all so jealous they're just like oh you've got all the or you've got money you can go out and yeah, stuff got your freedom okay. fantastic yeah. listen both of you thank you so much for coming in if people want to find out more they can at uh, creativebreak.info that's the website to go to you for, to go to first that's a portal which brings all of the training services and providers together and gives you the opportunity whether you are a young person wanting to go into an apprenticeship or you're a business that's interested in taking on apprentices it sounds fantastic it does. thank you very much indeed